hello friends welcome to selenium tutorial this is video 10 of this video tutorial series for selenium in this video i'll talk about how to inspect element in google chrome right? in my previous tutorial i talked about how we can uh, find out the web elements by using a fire path fire path fire bug and a, uh, this um, web driver element locator method right so for my earlier videos you can refer here at test automated dot in selenium web driver and you can find it all tutorials over here right so in this video i'll talk about google chrome how we can inspect element in google chrome right so the first way to inspect the element is by using a developer tool the inbuilt developer tool given by any browser let me open a chrome and let me navigate to some website I'll navigate to test automated dot in <coughs> sorry okay now the the first way to uh, locate the web element is uh, by using a developers tool that is inspect this is a developers tool given by any browser so click on inspect now you can see you can see this uh, <coughs> DOM structure of the particular web page right so it has this menu then under menu it has home then it has like uh, each and every drop down is given right so if uh, if you are proficient enough then you can write a xpath from this um, what I can say this is a DOM structure from a developers tool right so you can use this but if you want a better way to write a xpath and verify it right? here you we, here we can write a xpath if you know how to write a xpath we can do that but you cannot verify from here okay if the xpath written by me is correct whereas in mozilla firefox if you go there and uh, inspect it with firebug then you can you can write a xpath over here and you can test if your xpath has a matching node or not if your xpath is correct or not if, if the syntax is incorrect or something like that but in chrome there is nothing like a uh, firepath right so uh, for chrome we have a better way to write the xpath is by using xpath helper right so what you need to do is xpath helper is an extension to google chrome you can go to chrome and uh, you can search for xpath helper xpath helper for google chrome and you can click on the first link and you can add a extension i have already added the extension to the chrome so that is why it is showing me add, uh, add it to chrome but you can add it to chrome now once the extension is added to the chrome and that's it that's what uh, we can install uh, install means we can add the extension to the chrome that is xpath helper now let's see how we can find out a xpath by using this uh, what is this xpath helper tool right so the menu appear over here once you add the extension and restart your chrome so click on this now you can see on the top there is two uh, two um, boxes text boxes one is for query and another is for result so you can query your xpath over here right so you can start writing your xpath as soon as you start you can find a result over here so i've just type double slash it is saying invalid xpath expression so what i'll do is i'll <coughs> i'll show you xpath with uh, one of the drop down okay let us say i want to find out xpath of this archive drop down or suppose this category is drop down then what i'll do is i will right click on this category is drop down i'll inspect this right so from here what i'll get is i'll get name right and id and it is a select since it is a drop down the class is select so what i'll do is select name is equal to cat so how we can write xpath yeah, so I'll talk uh, how to write xpath in my next tutorial so as of now you can just s just consider something okay we need to write a xpath over here so what you can do is select square bracket at the rate id is equal to cat now you can see as soon as I wrote this xpath it is showing me select category right so that is what I wanted select category so this is the 
correct x path since it is showing a result 1 right it is showing a result 1 since that means it is a unique x path if you are using this x path it will uniquely identify this particular drop down that's what it means right let us say I want to go for this another drop down where id is equal to archive drop down so if, if I am using this id then you can see select month that means this is the correct x path showing result 1 for this this drop down archives right now let us say I'll show you uh, a duplicated x path let us say I want to find x path for this home tab I have uh, I should have two home tabs over here okay let me try home okay so for this home I have a class as a which is a link and then href is equal to this so I'll write x path double slash a and href is equal to this I'll, I'll talk about this how to write x path in my next tutorial so you can just consider that you're writing x path so for this particular x path whatever I wrote for this home button it is showing that there are two results home and home so this particular uh, what I can say this particular x path is not a unique like whatever I have written is not a unique so if I'm using this x path system will get confused because it is returning two result that means it is not a unique right so we need to find out another way to find out unique so if I'm using this class suppose again I'm customizing it I doing something wrong okay I think the, uh, the class doesn't exist this is a responsive page so yeah so this is what you need to find out your X path if it is duplicated since this is showing two uh, matching results you need to find out the way uh, how you can find it uniquely then and then your uh, x path will work in your automation scripts right so yeah so that's how you can type your x path over here and let's see if i'm typing html it will show me the whole page right so you can type your uh, xpath query over here and you will see a matching result here if the result is one that means your xpath is uniquely identified if it is more than one that means it is duplicated you need to find out it uniquely again by using some of the other parameters <sighs> okay so that's it about this xpath helper i hope this xpath helper will help you with this tutorial uh, for more tutorials you can keep visiting my blog testautomator.in in my next tutorial I'll talk about how to inspect element in Internet Explorer by using FireEye plugin fine thanks